In this video, I'd like to talk about finding the distance between two complex numbers. And you can see here we have a graph of the complex plane where the vertical axis is the imaginary axis. These numbers are going up in multiples of i, where i remembers the square root of negative 1. And the horizontal axis is the real axis. These are just the normal numbers, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And we need to figure out what the distance between these two complex numbers is. Or in other words, if we draw a line between these two complex numbers, we need to figure out what the length of this line is. And we can call that D for distance. Now, with complex numbers, remember that they have a real part and an imaginary part. So for instance, Z2, we can write this as having a real part of 3 and an imaginary part of 2i. So z2 is really 3 plus 2i, where we usually write the real part first and the imaginary part second. And then for z1, it has a real part of 8 and an imaginary part of 4. So z1 is really just 8 plus 4i. And there are a couple different approaches that we can take to figure out this distance. But for this video, let's take a graphical approach. Since to figure out the distance of this line, we can really decompose this into a right triangle. So notice that we can drop a vertical line here and we'll cut it off at the lower Y value. And we can also draw a horizontal line starting at the real value of 3 and ending at a real value of 8. And when we do this, this creates a right triangle since these lines will be perpendicular to each other. And since we have a right triangle, if we know these two side lengths, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what D is. Or we could use the distance formula between these two points though the distance formula is really just an application of the Pythagorean theorem. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem. And again, to do that, we just need to figure out what these distances are, what this or vertical line segment is, and what the length of this horizontal segment is. And for that, we can just count or find the difference between the imaginary values for, let's say, this vertical line. Since the top imaginary value is at 4 and the bottom one is at 2, and if we find their difference, 4 minus 2, we know that this length is just 2 units long. And of course we can count that, you can see 1, 2. And for the real part, we can follow the same process. We can notice that it has a real part of 8 all the way out here, and a real part of 3 here. So if we find their difference, 8 minus 3, we can figure out this length is five. Or again, if you count them, one, two, three, four, five, you will get the same value. And remember that if you have a right triangle, any right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to relate the different sides to the hypotenuse. So if this is a right triangle and we call this A, B, and the hypotenuse, the long side is C, then the relationship between these three sides is that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So for the two legs of the triangle, we can call either those a or b. So let's say we call this one a and this one b, though it doesn't matter, we can switch that. And then the hypotenuse, that is c in this formula. So we can write now that 2 squared plus 5 squared is equal to this hypotenuse squared, which we call d for distance. And at this point, we just need to simplify this equation and solve it for d. So 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. 5 squared, or 5 times 5, is 25. And d squared, we can just rewrite. And this simplifies to 29 is equal to d squared. And to cancel out this square, we can take a square root of each side. And since we're talking about a physical length, we don't have to put plus or minus here. So on the right-hand side, d squared and the square root will simplify to just d, since square and square root will cancel each other. And 
For the square root of 29, we can't simplify this any further since 29 is a prime number. So it can't be re rewritten as a perfect square, meaning that this right here will be our final fully simplified answer. Now, another approach is to recognize that this distance d is equal to the absolute value of the difference between these two complex numbers. So we can write it's the absolute value between z1 minus z2, or we could write it the other way, z2 minus z1. But this is something that we will talk about in a later video. So for now, finding this distance, we can set up this coordinate plane, draw a picture, and eventually just set up a right triangle and then use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the distance. And for this problem, we found that D is the square root of 29.